Hi, I'm going to ask you folks to do me a favor, especially those of you who know some kids, because this would be a great project for children, because it's science, and it's science they can do, and it's science that can really assist with the poor honeybees. The honeybees are in trouble again. See, I couldn't do anything to help with the colony collapse stuff, but this I can actually help with. So let me tell you about this project. Zombie Bee Watch is a citizen science project. Zombie Bee Watch was initiated as a follow-up to the discovery that the zombie fly that I can't pronounce is parasitizing honeybees in California and possibly other areas in North America. Honeybees infected by the zombie fly leave their hives at night and are attracted to nearby lights where they become stranded and eventually die. The presence of fly larvae in up to 18% of active foragers in some California honeybee hives makes the zombie fly potential contributor to hive decline. This would be especially likely if zombie fly infection is widespread and higher in areas that are experiencing hive declines. They found a zombie bee watch to find out how widespread zombie fly parasitism is and to learn how often unparasitized honeybees are attracted to light at night for other reasons. Now, so far they're finding them in California, but that doesn't mean they won't come elsewhere. This is a easy thing to do. It doesn't require much effort. It doesn't cost any expense, and they give a thorough tutorial. Don't be intimidated. You don't have to handle live bees. It's not complicated at all. How to find zombies. Look for honeybees flying around lights at night, stranded under porch lights, street lights, etc. during the day, crawling, disoriented, or dead on sidewalks. Construct a light trap and place it near an area where you have found stranded bees or... If you are a beekeeper, near your beehive or hives. Do not collect honeybees near hives unless you are a beekeeper. Potential zombies are often found on sidewalks and under lights, crawling in circles, unable to walk or fly. They also come to lights at night, sometimes even entering homes through open windows. Collecting stranded honeybees. The simplest method of finding potential zombies is under a porch light or a street lamp. Always handle honeybees safely. Weak and dying bees can still sting you. So they suggest using tweezers. Light trap sampling. Using a light trap is the most effective method for finding zombies. There are many inexpensive ways to build effective light traps for materials around your home. Next, we will show you three simple designs for light traps. I'm going to go through the light traps quickly. This entire tutorial is on the zombie website, so you can review it there. You can even download it. So they're cheap and easy to make. It shouldn't be hard. Setting up your light trap and storing samples. If possible, place your light trap in an area where it is away from nearby light sources. For example, if you have found dead or stranded honeybees near your back porch light, Set up the light trap in your backyard and turn off your porch light while using the trap. Storing your sample. Carefully transfer honeybees that you find stranded or in your light trap to a holding container. Monitoring your sample. Keep samples of honeybees found stranded or from light traps in a secure place away from the sun. Honeybees in these situations are not healthy and die quickly. Check each sample periodically for fly larvae, maggots, and brown pill-shaped fly pupa expected 5 to 14 days after collection, and adult flies 15 to 28 days after collection. These time periods could be different depending on the temperature at which your sample is stored. And then it, there's a whole thing about how to upload information about your sample, keep samples of adult flies, because they may ask you to send them in to make sure to identify them. If you don't find pupa, that's a good thing. 
because it means that the honeybees are not infected. So here's a map of where they've been located. Interestingly, they found some in South Dakota, so it is not isolated to the West Coast. I also noticed that New Mexico has nobody in it, so of course I have signed up. Zombie Watch has three main goals to determine where in North America the zombie fly is parasitizing honeybees, to determine how often honeybees leave their hives at night even if they are not parasitized by zombie fly, to engage citizen scientists in making a significant contribution to knowledge about honeybees and to become better observers of nature.